What's going on? So I got a little monitor to mount on my camera so I can uh, see what the hell's going on with it. It's one thing I wish the, the Sony cameras would do. Um, I know a couple of them do it now, kind of. The A6400 I know has the little flippy screen and stuff, but it's kind of goofy. If they would just do the stupid flip out screen like the Canons and the uh, GH5 and all those do, uh, that really is something you take for granted after you leave those systems, but you know, pros and cons, right? Anyway, got a little monitor and uh, it's amazing. Let me show it to you. It's fantastic, I love it. So yeah, not a, not a ton up this week. Um, got one new sub. My installer just got back in town, so I'm gonna have to get back on the uh, selling train and start hitting the doors again. But got one more. She actually has a, I think she said a son-in-law or a son or something. She, has, she knows two other people that live up the street and she said they're gonna want it too if it works. And it works, so matter of time there, I think. I've been toying around with UNMS more and I don't know what is going on with it. Like, I don't know if it's my Ubuntu install or if it's because it's running in a VM, which shouldn't matter. I, I, I don't know, but it just does not work <laughs> at all. It reboots and it'll lose network connectivity and it just does all kinds of strange stuff all the time. It's really bad. <laughs> so I've blown away one Ubuntu install already. Uh, did another one. It did the same thing. Well, I can't really say it did the same thing. I didn't really use it a whole bunch. I kind of went back to the other one because it seemed like it was working okay. Now it's doing dumb stuff again. So I'm like, Ugh. um... I even downloaded the newest version of Ubuntu and was going to give that a shot. It's just, I don't know what its problem is. Like right now, it's stuck doing that. Like it's not even booting, it's just sitting there doing nothing. I'm like, what is wrong with you, man? I kind of don't think that's a UNMS thing. I think that's a Ubuntu thing or maybe an Unraid thing or something like that, but I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I cranked it up to send out my invoices and stuff this month, and it worked fine for that, and it's like the longer you leave it on, the more awfully it runs. I don't know. Speaking of Unraid, I added a uh, uninterruptible power supply to my server, which was very much needed because we lose power out here all the damn time. When buying a power supply, an uninterruptible power supply, also known as a UPS or an UPS, uh, you have to make sure yours is a sine wave UPS. If it's not and you need one, like if your motherboard and your computer, for instance, is kind of uh, sensitive, it won't work. So I got a cyber power sine wave one. I don't know if my server actually would require the whole sine wave thing or not, but I didn't want to roll the dice, I just wanted it to work, and yeah, just work. I know some motherboards are very, very particular about that kind of thing because the motherboard in my, la in my uh, desktop, rather, my old motherboard, <laughs> that thing, if it noticed any kind of weirdness when it came to power, it would reboot. It was incredibly annoying. I don't know if that was because of sine wave or not, uh, unclean power or something like that maybe, I'm not real sure. So. Make sure you do your research before buying a, a UPS. It really does matter. It can basically make or break your whole system if you uh, get the wrong kind and you need something else. Something to think about. So, got the UPS. Um, UNMS is a pile of shit, or my VM is at least. One new subscriber. That's about it, really. I still need to install the uh, radome. Uh, I haven't done that yet. I haven't re-aimed the antennas yet. Uh, I'll get out there and do it. Maybe I'll go do that tomorrow. I know I've said that like every week for the past three weeks, but eh, maybe. <laughs> I'll be right one of these weeks. Been getting tons and tons of emails and messages and stuff, questions about starting a wisp and, and everything else. Very, very cool. Uh, glad to help if I can. It's very cool. Getting emails and messages and stuff from all over the world. Uh, never would never would have thought that would happen when I started all this noise. That's, that's pretty crazy. So yeah, keep them coming. Um, if I can't help, I'll do my best to steer you in the right direction because, you know, I, I don't know everything about all of this, but 
There's apparently a lot of people out there that do know a fair amount about this. Speaking of, I will be at WISPA. I'll be there the end of the week. So if anyone else is out there wants to come say hi, shoot me a message. We'll meet up and have some beers. Very much looking forward to finding a new credit card processor because right now I'm using PayPal. I have, a, I have my paypal.me link in, it's like a, embedded in the invoices from UCRM. But yeah, I have my, uh, my paypal.me link embedded in the invoices and every single payment from every single subscriber every single month, there's a $1.90, almost $2 charge, a fee. That adds up quick, especially as I get more and more subscribers. It just adds up more and more and more quickly. That's not going to work. There is no way in hell I'm going to pay $1.90 per payment, per subscriber, per month. No, no. So very much looking forward to finding something uh, more reasonable. Going to be meeting somebody at Wispa. He um, runs a company, works for a company, something like that, that does credit card payments. Yeah, should work a lot better because PayPal sucks. PayPal sucks as a company in general, as I'm sure at least some of you know. I'm very much a Second Amendment supporter. Um, I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, including the Bill of Rights, in 2009 when I joined the Marine Corps. And as far as I'm concerned, that didn't expire when I got out. So, yeah, big supporter of uh, Second Amendment. And PayPal is very, very, very unfair when it comes to um, gun-friendly companies. Uh, hell, even gun-friendly YouTube channels, I think, have some issues with them. It just it, not a good company, not a company I want to support anyway. I just did it that way because it was easy and it was, you know, what I could get working in the meantime kind of thing, like a temporary fix sort of, um, let's just do this for now kind of thing. So definitely had plans to move all along, but yeah, the, the fees are really what made me go, no, no, time for a time to bail out sooner rather than later. I'm gonna talk to some people at WISPA. Can't wait to see what else they have at WISPA. Um, it's a pretty damn big event, a big thing from what I see. I was looking at the roster schedule kind of thing on on the internet and damn, uh, yeah, it's, it's was it five days if I'm not mistaken? And every single day is like booked solid. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, stay tuned. Of course, I'm going to be documenting it. But like I said in my post, for those of you that didn't see it, got something a little bit kind of special and interesting for you guys as far as um, travel goes. Hmm. Enough rambling for now. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that noise. If you want to catch the, uh, the WISPA coverage, it is coming going to be awesome. Wispa is in two weeks, so get ready for that. I know I am. In the meantime, talk to you soon. Later.